Greetings travelers! Today we're doing an updated tutorial for custom main menu by Lumion. Uh, just recently we were given information on how to add the hover and press sounds to buttons and I have tinkered around with it and got it and ready to tell you guys how to do it. Also had a question come up that I will cover in regards to images. So to We'll do the image part first, and all I can really say is to remind everybody, and I'm pretty sure my mouse, by the way, sorry, did not realize my mouse was not showing up before. But just make sure that you have this path correct. Now to give you the example, oh, looks like a mod pack just updated. So to give you the example on this one, if we go into resources, textures, original name was Space Odyssey and then you'll see you know we keep going down the line it matches this textures being the name of the root folder and then menu black transparent because in this case for this one I have a separate menu just for that black transparent so the key is is to make sure that you have the root folder and then the next folder that it's you know the folder path that is going in after that uh, if you're getting, you know, and it is case sensitive, so if you're getting pink and black squares, make sure that you either have this correct or you have the image name correct because of the whole case sensitive. Now for the sounds, I reached out to Lumion because I'd been trying to get it to work, hadn't worked. Finally got a response from him, pretty quickly actually, and basically here's what goes on for the, the sounds you'll see the format right there hover sound is the actual function just like image width image height this is basically the folder path now I tried some alternative paths couldn't quite get it to work right you know I'll keep tinkering with it but this works fine I don't see any reason to actually put it in a its own folder but when you go back and look at the f structure I have menu as my root folder. Now the key is you will need a sounds JSON. Now I'll open up mine so you can see the format. And you'll see you'll have the brace here. This is the format it needs to be. This is the name of the sound that you'll use here. This is actually not the name of the file. This is the name that you have given it right here. This is the name of the file without the .ogg. So you'll need to put this format. Now keep in mind if you have more than one sound each sound has to have a comment or a comma after it. The last one in the list does not. But if you set it up in this format and then use this format and I just put it at the end like his example and make sure you put the comma because I missed that at first and of course it broke. Make sure you have the comma then you do your, your functions and then the menu hover that's because it's telling you the folder is menu the sound is hover. And again we have that name that's on there hover is this piece here not this. This is the actual file name which in my case is the same but yours might be different that's how you know, and then of course you have to shut down your minecraft and reload so it loads the sounds and then they should be available for you to edit and add them in here that should take care of it uh, as you can see we'll go into here I now have the sounds and there you go and that's how you add the sounds to all your buttons if you want them to work. So, again, this would be a short video. This was just to kind of show you what I found out from Lumion about the sounds. And to kind of cover, you know, briefly again about the images. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And I will update again if I need be in order to show you or explain better. But thank you guys all for coming by, and you guys have a great day.